Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So the product that I'm using is uh, the Resin Casting Powder by Let's Resin. It is also called Magic 4. I have a detailed video on this product and I will link that above here. If you'd like to purchase yourself, there is a discount code available. It is an eco resin and you need 10 grams of powder to which you add 3 grams of water. So you can increase the quantity as you're working. I am working with this powder for so long so I know and I just eyeball it at this time. Uh, it's really up to you if you want to uh, keep it into a liquid consistency or in a thicker or in a medium. You can totally do that. It is up to you. However, if you mix it really liquidy, you need to wait a little more on the drying process. Otherwise, if you go with the instructions, it's going to cure in amount, uh, uh, around 30 minutes. So what I will be doing here is that I will be taking this black pigment from Jasmonite company. And this is actually a very concentrated pigment. So I actually need a black color. So I'm just mixing that. Uh, you can buy these uh, um, pigments from Amazon. I will link that in my description. So this much I think is enough. And now after that I will be adding the water. So if you're first time working with eco resin, I would suggest you to first add water and then add the powder so that in this way you can mix it easily. I am just explaining you that I'm using it for so long now that I really know that. One thing is uh, more is that you need to mix it thoroughly. There should be no lumps in there. So you can see I'm just slowly adding the water and just eyeballing it uh, and I'm looking for the consistency I'm going for. Also it is... Uh, up to you if you want to uh, wear gloves uh, this ego resin is totally friendly and it do not affect your hands but if you have sensitive skin please do wear your gloves safety is first so now i have taken a square mold here and on this mold i will be applying this gold foil simply just uh, rubbing the gold foil onto the coaster here uh, coaster mold so I really don't want a very heavy uh, gold foil effect, just a little bit. And you will know that in a minute that why I'm saying that. Because this will be make, enough for making two uh, coasters and you will see that soon. Because the direction I'm going for, I really don't want to have too much gold on it. Because there is going to be something extra happening here. Just making sure that my eco resin is mixed well and now I'm just pouring it into the coaster. And after pouring you need to uh, tap it and shake it so in this way it releases the bubble and uh, you get a smooth finish. And after that I will leave this to dry. So this is next day and I actually made two of these. So this is the time I'm going to uh, demold them. So this is how why I was telling you that the gold foil don't completely transfer itself onto the coaster. So you get some of them on, still onto the mold. So, But I'm happy with that because I really didn't want it to be too heavy. So as I told you that I will be making two. So this is my second one. Just carefully I'm just removing them out of the mold because sometimes it's very disappointing if you have a breakage. I gave it a good amount of hours. So now you can see that still there is some gold foil but that gold foil has transferred on both of them and that is enough. So on to the main part where I am really excited to do. So this is a stencil that I ordered from Tamu. I really love the uh, writing of this stencil. So I just thought when I saw this stencil, I thought I'm going to do something here. And I hope it is successful. So I do have this product and I do work with it with uh, for different art projects. But I never thought of, the, of using it in this way. So yeah, I'll be showing you that in a moment. So this is the molding paste by Acrylic Mediums. I do use this on canvases when I'm creating mixed media effect, but never I have thought that I'm going to do something uh, modeling with modeling paste onto the eco resin here. So the thing is that I think you would have understand that what I'm doing, I have put that stencil onto the eco resin and now I am very carefully a very thin layer. Please do note that you don't have to put a very heavy layer of this um, uh, modeling paste onto the coaster please be light 
with the paste here reason is that when you take a lot of the paste it's going to smudge underneath and your writing will not come out i'm praying that i do have a fine result because i'm doing this first time with you all so this is an experiment but in my mind uh, what i know that if it's going to be looking like that it's going to be amazing so you can see that with very light hand I have taken a little amount of paste and I am just applying it not just scooping out and putting a lot of it so this is a very crucial point please do follow that when if you are doing the same technique and again you can see that I have taken a very little bit of the paste And deep in my heart, I really don't know how this is going to be looking like, but still, let's see, fingers crossed. So this uh, paste is actually really versatile. I do use on my canvases to give uh, when I'm creating mixed media effects or sometimes when I'm doing mixed media on um, trinket dishes, uh, boxes, the wooden ones or the water lot. Too much to do with this one. It creates a wonderful texture behind anything and it also dries really well So last year I did a silk screen on Jasmineite and it was successful. It was so amazing. I will link that video also. And then I made another one with silk screen and um, rice paper. Both projects were amazing, but I haven't done that again. But I think I might do the silk screen again sometime. But this time I'm going to do this stencil one. Coming up with something new. So on to the last bit. It's like a very light icing on a cake. So I think it's done now and it's moment of truth. I'm going to remove this stencil any minute now. And now you have understand that why I used very less gold foil. So it's going to be a sort of a scrapbooking mixed media project. Also I use this space for scrapbooking also. So now let's see how it's look like yay <laughs> oh my god it looks uh, so amazing i got a little bit of on the top layer you can see there is a little bit of uh, smudging but still it's all perfect i'm happy because this is handmade there is go there is going to be some faults so on to the second one and i will be doing the same but in between i washed my uh, stencil because i really don't want to the put the same stencil So as much as I was a bit tense about the smudging, uh, this was actually, actually really satisfying also. So it's this is done now and it's time to remove the stencil. And here we go. This one turned out to be really well. So after two days, yeah, I gave it two days because I wanted to see that the wording stays on to the uh, eco resin because there was another fear in my mind that it might get off or removed, but it stuck perfectly. And this is a 100% foolproof technique for you all to try and make something unique. Plus also I like the word alchemy and this creates something magical and you know I'm all about magic. So I'm using a stone coat that I always use for uh, doing the top coat onto the jasmineite or eco resin. Uh, 
I do have some videos for applying the jasmine sealer onto the jasmine. If you like to see that, I might find them and uh, add them into the, above here. But what I'm doing here, I'm just simply uh, rubbing that wax. It has a beautiful fragrance and it is also protective. So after doing that, uh, you need a soft cloth, any soft fabric, just to polish it off. So this is done now, and I'll, uh, I will just leave this to dry for a day so that everything settles and. Uh, the wording everything so let's see how the final product look like so this is the final look of the coasters and i just love them they really came out as i was thinking and when this happens you all artists can know that relate that it is a happy day So all in all i'm really happy about them and you can see you can use them for your uh, teacups and for your drinking cups and if you have a friend that who likes to read books this is a perfect gift for them and thank you so much for your amazing comments they are so helpful and they always motivate me and i'm so happy that you learn from them just making something different here uh, so i hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and take good care of yourself bye bye